going to do another quick one. This is kind of part two of a day in the life of a TV repairman. I was going to say a TV engineer then, but I don't like using the term engineer. That's for clever people. Um, Mike's with me again on this one. We spent the day together. Um, this is just kind of a coincidence, really, but coincidences can be a weird, weird thing. Uh, do you remember the TV I worked on last night? If you've seen the video, I stuck up a couple of videos last night. One was a video of a diagnostic part of a Panasonic 55. That was part one. Part two was me trying to repair this Panasonic 55. And I kind of gave up uh, towards the end because I suddenly realized that um, I needed to replace the whole set of backlights on the 55 inch. What I didn't tell you, in fact, I didn't find out till after I did the edit, is the price of a set of backlights for that TV. So the 55 CX 660B, that's the one I worked on yesterday, 100 pounds. 100 pounds. And that's the Chinese price. That's not uh, the price of what it would have been um, to get a decent set from um, a local uh, eBay firm, if you know what I mean. Not that I probably would after what I went through earlier on today. So um, I made the right call. I got in contact with the owner of the TV and I told him, I said, look, it's just going to be expensive. It's pretty dangerous. The screen is glued down. It's not a great job to do. You may be better off sticking your uh, 100 quid plus for a new TV, which he did. So uh, he said, if you know, as most customers do, because they don't want to come back and collect the TV. Some of them do, but not all of them. Um, so he said, keep the TV. So I kept the 55 inch. And then, and as you can see me and the boss are working on something here. Um, my boss turns up with this 42 inch TV and guess what it is? It's, so it's a 40 inch. This is a 40 CX 660B. Last night I was working on a 55 CX 660B. Uh, this one is stuck in standby. And no matter what you do, apparently it does come on a couple of times. I tried the usual, there was something called a Panasonic lockout, which a lot of Panasonic TVs went through about five years ago. Um, and it was just a case of, I think you had to hold the power button down and the volume up and you would bring it back to life again. Well, I've tried all that with this one. This is a, this is a firmware uh, error. And we just couldn't get it to come on. If we could have got the TV to come on, we could have tried to do a firmware update, software update, to see if that would, to see if that would sort it out. But um, we just couldn't get it to come on. And then I suddenly realised, well, I've got another main board for this, but obviously it's for a 55 inch. So we had a look at the main board, and they were identical, absolutely identical. Uh, but then again, it is from the same series, so I suppose you'd expect it to be. But obviously, a completely different screen. One's a 55-inch, one's a 40-inch. Now, there's no way that a TV, a 40-inch TV, is going to receive a signal correctly from a 55-inch TV. But sometimes, when you're with your boss and you like doing different things, you think, "Yeah, I know." Be fun to try, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> so that's exactly what we did today. So, um. We know it's a main board issue. Well, we know it's a firmware issue, which is part of the main board. So we're going to take this main board off and just ask you the question now. What do you think is going to happen when we plug in the main board from the TV I tried to repair last night but gave up on? What do you think will happen when we swap the main boards over and switch it on? Um, it, there could be a pop. There could be smoke. Um, we could completely knacker the screen well and truly forever. But sometimes you have to try these things. What do you think is going to happen? Well, we're still faffing around with this TV here, but I'm going to fast forward to the bit when uh, we plug the TV in and just have a look what's going to happen. All the connections are exactly the same, by the way. The screen connections, the speaker connections, the LVDS, the connection to the power supply, it's its uh, completely identical. Well, you can see both main boards there. You can see how identical they are. The only difference in the main board is the heat sink they come with. The 55 inch has got a much larger heat sink, but it's just a case of taking the heat sink off one and putting it on the other. In fact, while, we while we're doing the test, we keep the large heat sink on. Um, so anyway, what do you think is going to happen? Um, well, I'll show you. So we've just got the main board in there temporarily. I've just pushed the TV set up. So there it is, Panasonic. Of course, the Panasonic wording is upside down, but that's because 
uh, the TV is upside down. I don't know if you can see the Panasonic bit, but we have got the TV upside down. Um, so the light is coming on, the standby light is flashing, and we get a picture. And it all looks great, doesn't it? Well, have you realised something? Even though that screen looks absolutely fine to us, the TV is upside down. So that means technically the picture is upside down. And it's no good shouting in the comments, oh yeah, if you go into service mode, you can change that around. No, you can't. You can't. If you go into the service mode, which we did, I don't know if I'm going to show you on camera because I can't remember. Um, uh, the screen is all um, hexadecimal points. And if you know what the hexadecimal code is for a 42 inch or for a 40 inch, then please let me know. But at the moment, it's got the hexadecimal code in for a 55 inch. Um, but it was just a, a little experiment, always worth a go. It's always worth trying these things. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Now, funnily enough, we got back in contact with a customer um, who brought this TV and gave it to Mike. And we said, uh, unfortunately, it can't be repaired. And here's another thing that's worth mentioning. You cannot get a main board for this model. If you've got one stashed away somewhere, can you let me know, please? Because the customer would love it. Remember, this is a Panasonic TH40CX660B. On eBay, there are main boards for the 55 inch, which I worked on yesterday, main boards for the 50 inch. There ain't a main board for the 40 inch. Can't find one anywhere. There are lots of dealers that say they've got one in stock and you go to their website and then all of a sudden it says out of stock. I've got a funny feeling that this is um, a major problem with this particular board for some particular reason, but it is a shame. Um, so I thought the customer was going to say scrap it, but he said, oh no, bring it back. Uh, he may want it with the picture upside down. It works perfectly, but it's just upside down. Um, so he may be happy in just purchasing the main board from me, which I think he can have just a few quid, and having the TV upside down. I don't know why he'd want it. But yeah, there's no 40-inch main boards available. But um, we got it working, and we proved it was a main board fault, and we proved it was um, a, a problem with either the processor or the firmware. If I could have got the TV on, I would have updated the firmware. Um, but there's no way I can turn this the other way around in the service mode, unfortunately. <laughs>